It's Bridget and Nicole, and I just got home from work. It's already dark outside. Um, I got out of work pretty late, and daylight saving is kicking in. So I was pretty upset that I was driving home at sunset, but it's my full-time job and sometimes work calls. So um, on that note, I thought I'd make a quick video. Um, it is Wednesday. My hump's dead. So I'm not sure when I'll get it edited and uploaded because I want to, I would really like to get um, a good run in tonight. Um, I kind of look like poo. I, I had a suit jacket over this, but I just came in and was like, I'm going to make a video because I saw Tony Dubs post and I've been wanting to do a video about this and um, about what's in their gym bag and I know they've done a couple of them before. And I wanted to do one. So, especially now that I have my Oakley gym bag, thanks to my Tone It Up Girls KK. Um, so, here it goes. Con, what's in Bridget Nicole's gym bag? A lot of stuff. It's really cool. But, anyway, so if, if you're just joining Tone It Up or you didn't do the summer challenge or you have no idea what I'm talking about, the, uh, this summer, Turn It Up had a big challenge, and there was lots of prizes, and there was final grand prizes, and I won one of the uh, big prizes, and that was you got the Oakley bag, Oakley gym bag, full of goodies, and including a couple things that didn't fit in the bag. So, <laughs> um, we'll start with that. One of the things that did not fit in the bag was my Skechers. My tone ups, um, these are my babies now. I'm a lot obsessed with them. I'm sorry, I just got my bangs cut today. I apologize, I keep messing with them. They're not laying correctly because she just trimmed my bangs, so they're just like, anyways. Um, apologizing ahead of time if I mess with them because my fiance tells me I touch them all, like, all the time when I'm doing my videos. I can't help it, they fall on my face. Eh. So, okay, um, these are, I chose the light blue and white tone-ups. Um, they are adorable. They have these little hearts on the bottoms. By the way, you can see from the side, they kind of have like a little bit of a, I'm trying to, so you can see like you, there's pressure points in there. So you really feel a difference when you're wearing them. But um, I am in love with them. I love them. They took a little getting used to when I first put them on, but I really, really like them a lot. And I like the colors. And if any of you are from Carolina, I know they're in Carolina blue and I'm a state girl. I know Catherine, if she's watching this, will know. Uh, but I am just, they're really cute. And I like Carolina, I like baby blue, not Carolina blue. <laughs> so anyway, um, I also have a backup water bottle. This is a pretty basic water bottle. I just pop that open and drink out of it. Yeah. So, um, let's see what else I have. I have Cliff Bars. I keep Cliff Bars in, well, I usually keep, some kind of bar, either Cliff, Luna, well now Luna, I hadn't had Luna before, but, or I keep, um, extra protein powder sometimes, I usually keep a baggie of that, I actually just had it today because I had to have a quick snack for my late meeting, um, so, uh, I usually have that in there, and that's why I keep the water bottle too, because then I can just mix it up really fast, so, they're my quick afternoon snack, if I'm running late, if I forget to pack it, which I usually do not, but just in case, um, and then it's just something that I know is going to have protein and simple carbs that's going to get me going before my workout. So, um, I also have a pair of workout shorts. And along those same lines, I always keep, and the, you guys might think this is corny, but it's just what I do. I always keep a Tone It Up t-shirt, my little teal one, and my long sleeve one that I was wearing in my last video um, in my bag. Just because... If I have to go on the go to a workout or forget my clothes or something, then I have these as backups. I know it's a cute outfit, and I love this gray one, and I travel with this bag everywhere. It goes to work with me. It goes on vacations with me. It goes everywhere. If I leave this house, unless I'm going to the grocery store, it's in the car with me. So, um, have that in there. I also have a backup sports bra by Champion. Um, this, I love Champion stuff. I wear a lot of their stuff and I like it a lot. And I get a lot of mine through Target as well. I also have a Women's Health. Um, this is the most recent issue. Yes, October. 
in case I'm in the gym. And I honestly don't read during cardio for the most part. Um, I pretty much just travel with this. It stays in there. I keep some kind of health magazine for when I travel or for when I'm, you know, at work on lunch and I have nothing to do. Just something like that to look at. So, along with reading material, I do keep a couple things in there. And it's just specifically, I really don't read when I work out. But it's, you know, like I said, this bag goes everywhere. It's my everywhere bag. But it counts as my gym bag. So, I have my Tone It Up um, workout book. And if none of you are on the team, it looks kind of like this. Oh, I have some, these are some extra recipes in there, but um, it's really cool. It's really easy to go everywhere. I've made my little binder. This is the photo that Tony Up put together for when I did the Motivation Monday on their blog, which was like one of the most incredible experiences ever. Um, thank you, by the way, for having me do that. Uh, and so I have that and um, I, it goes everywhere, everywhere with me. I also have um, a couple of their books. I have Girl on Top. Uh, this is by Nicole Williams, and this is your guide to turning dating rules into career success. Many of you know that I just started a new job, so um, it's actually just something that interests me. I read about it, I think, in a women's health magazine. Pretty sure. Sorry, I'm going to turn on this light. I feel like I'm getting a lot of backlighting. Um, I don't really know. I haven't gotten that far into it. I am that far into it. But um, it's really cute. I thought it was adorable. And so I got it off Amazon and I read about it in Women's Health Magazine. And the next book I have is called The Tipping Point. And it's how little things can make a big difference. I actually heard about this through someone on Twitter. Um, and I will post his Twitter name down in the info because, I'm sorry, my music is loud. Uh, I actually can't remember off the top of my head. I feel horrible about that. But um, this is a bestseller. It's by Malcolm Gladwell. And it's called A Fascinating Book That Makes You See the World a Different Way. And, you know, he's someone who goes around giving talks and talking about things. So I figured I'll try it out. Um while he's looking to make a difference in the world, right? I don't know. We all are. I just thought it was an interesting read. So I got this. This is what it looks like. I got it off Amazon as well. And like I said, just carry it with me all the time. I also have, let's see. This, is it right? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about the glare on my. Is the Karina and Katrina DVD. I carry it with me for... Those of you who follow me, you know that um, when I got this, I got this new job, I was traveling so much with work and I was staying in a lot of hotels and sometimes they had a gym and well, they all had gyms, but sometimes they're really crappy gyms. They have like a treadmill and a stability wall and they're like, there's your gym. Now, granted, we can do a lot with that. I just wanted something more challenging. So I always brought my DVD with me. Um, let's see what else do I have. Ah, I have some warm vanilla sugar. Body Splash from Bath and Body Works, and that's just in case I'm leaving the gym and I s meeting someone. I don't want to say I stink because I wear deodorant. I don't think I stink, but you never know. You just don't want to smell like sweat or something in case I have to go somewhere afterwards. Um, let's see what else is in here. Oh, I have bobby pins in case I need to pin my hair back, but it usually just goes up in a ponytail. And speaking of the ponytails. I have my favorite sweaty band. Woo! It has like an elastic part in the back. And then this part's kind of like a velvety fabric. And the top is just a regular. And they have the cutest little logo look. Sorry. Um, and I always stick them in my hair. And I can do a little bohemian. <laughs> okay, not working. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyways, my favorite sweaty band. I love it. And I, I stick my hair up a lot and just throw that in. It just uh, it keeps it in place. And when it starts to fall out, you can't tell because the sweaty band hides it. It makes it look like it's all like sleek and everything. Um, I also have my Oakley band, armband. This is, if you look inside of it, it has like a pocket and it folds down. Well, it also can... I think it can fold one more time. But I just wear it like when I run outside, I put my key in it. 
I actually put it the other way around, but, <laughs> and I just throw it on my arm and I actually, if I, when I wear it the other way around, um, it's this way, I can stick my phone in there too, but I usually put my phone in the pocket in my shirt. If you haven't seen those, they're very cool. Um, this is my MP3 player armband. I have a Zune. I do not have an iPod, but I love my Zune. And with that, I have my headset and my actual Zune. And if you want to see what it looks like, it's pretty cool. It turns on. And it's my baby. Speaking of, I need to charge that, so we're going to leave that out. <laughs> um, and let's see what else do I have in here. Oh, I have some more magazines. I have a South magazine and a Glamour. Um, and I think that's it. Yep, looks like it. Oh. And the cool thing, let me just tell you, this bag has so many compartments, and it has, like, side ones, and they're pretty cool, and they have these little, like, things that you can tighten them with, and then in the back, it has, like, a clear compartment right there, and this is really cool. It has this little bag, and I assume, correct me if I'm wrong, ladies, but that this is for your wetty, wetty, ugh, sweaty, stinky clothes. After the gym, I don't shower at the gym because I don't go to a gym in the morning. I just usually run outside or something. I do have a gym where I live too that's provided for me by uh, the housing area here. But, um, you know, if I needed to, that's really convenient. Or sometimes you can just stick stuff in it. You don't want it to mesh with other things. But mostly I would think sweaty, kind of skanky clothes. So anyways, I'm going to go run. I'm not running outside because it's dark. Daylight savings makes me a sad girl because I love to run outside and can't run in the dark. I mean, I live in a safe neighborhood, but you never know. People can say that all they want, but the the predators are everywhere. I'm not trying to scare you guys. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, I'm just not comfortable running at night. So I will be headed to my gym, which is about all of 20 feet, 30 feet that direction outside my door. So, me. Um, hope everybody had a great hump day. I will check in tomorrow. I will not be doing a video check-in tonight. There's not enough battery left on my phone. <laughs> As I have been tweeting, reading my Twitter all day because I've been so busy with work. But, um, and so yeah, I will have a workout video up tomorrow night and hopefully a recipe video. I'm trying to. If you haven't checked out, I post my blog below. I put up a new shake recipe. It's kind of a cleansy shake recipe, so... Um, check it out. It's got lots of fiber in it. And um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.